infants and hypertension in children that we can that you are presenting here at the, this meeting? Well, <clears throat> the two trends are that it appears to be coming becoming more common uh, than in the past, and the that most of this is related to childhood obesity, um, and which is a worldwide problem. Traditionally, high blood pressure in children has been felt to uh, be what's called secondary. In other words, there's another medical condition that is causing the high blood pressure. And that's in all the textbooks going back, you know, decades. What recent research is showing is that actually now what we're seeing is primary hypertension, which is also called essential hypertension. In other words, there's no underlying cause. This is the majority of hypertension in adults is um, primary. And what we're seeing is that in children it's becoming more often, uh, more children are having primary hypertension than secondary hypertension, and that's a big change. And it is going to require a shift in thinking amongst pediatricians because you, traditionally people would do a lot of, you know, laboratory tests and x-rays and so forth to try to find out what's wrong, but in reality none of that's necessary.